Hi there, Joe McKay again. Um, I know that a lot of you are probably thinking you're are getting a little intimidated with all the knots and loads and twists and bends and things that you need to know to do crevasse rescue. So I'm going to give you a little exercise. Um, if you can do this exercise, you have four fifths of the crevasse rescue figured out. And this exercise is called avoiding the void. And I name it after a couple of uh, young climbers who got a little over their head in Peru and were coming down an ice face. And if they'd have known this, they'd still be painless climbers and uh, not successful book writers and movie royalty guys. So, okay, here's how it goes. So I'm lowering my partner down and he's going down. He or she is going down and down and down. And I'm using the most complicated system that I can think of. So we're going to use a tied off munter hitch. All right, so I'm getting pretty close and I'm going to need a fair bit of rope to tie it off, but I want to have enough so that I have some prussic left over to pass the knot through the blade of my blade device. In this case, it's a munter hitch. So if you don't know how to tie off a munter hitch or haven't done a munter hitch before, then click this link right here and, uh, and go and do that first and then come back and finish this exercise. So first off we do is we do a loop here. Take a bite through the loop, then pull some slack up, do an overhand. And then because we're doing, working with a live load, let's clip off that so that the person doesn't drop to their death and then you got to do all the paperwork and drink bad coffee at the uh, warden station or the RCMP or sheriff. All right, so now I want to transfer the load on this rope to the anchor so that I can unweight the unweight uh, the knot and I can pass this knot onto the other side of my blade device. So let's do that to go one, two, three. And I always use three on a rescue scenario. Maybe if I was just wrapping and using it, I might use two, but Three seems to be the industry standard. I get a lot of questions asking me, well, if three's good, would four be better? And would 22 be really good? And I said, well, would never know because I've never tied more than three. It's just the kind of guy I am. If it ain't broke, I usually don't fix it. There we go. And I always put a knot right in front of there. So if I ever want to change this to a raise, I can. I have that option being trouble free cinch this up as close as I can get it because I'm going to need every foot that I can get, every inch, every centimeter in Canada, every inch in the United States, the rest of the world, centimeters. Then I'm going to do another munter but with both strands. Right. And I'm going to Things never go right when that camera's running, eh? Why is that? Right. And then I'm going to do is just tie this off too. Take a bite, daisy chain it a couple of times, then take the ends through the bottom. Good to go. Cinch up the prussic. <clears throat> now I can slip my first munther and do my first load transfer. So there we go. And I slip it, slip it, slip it, and the load transfer is complete. So now, I hope this is all coming along to you. I can take my other rope Throw another munter hitch on there. And that's my carabiner. In this case, I'm just going to wrap it around my hands, slip the, I'm not going to bother tying it off, but you could tie it off. Now I'm going to slip my prussic and slowly let the prussic slip, slip. Slip, 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 slip. And then, as I come to the right at the end, 
I've transferred my load and now I can load my partner onto the second rope down to the bottom of the crevasse and he's going to be stuck with menial labor jobs for the rest of his career because he won't have anything to write about. No big epic crawling across the glacier with a couple of broken legs. So there we are. That's the uh, avoiding the avoid, avoiding the void exercise. Wondering well, what does this have to do with crevasse rescue? Well, as I said before, crevasse rescue is nothing more than a series of load transfers. It's I mean you taking care of the load, and uh, we're just going to reverse the directions on the loads. So I do my transfer, right? And I decide instead, I'm going to put a ratchet here. And so this ratchet I'm going to choose is probably one of the most common belay devices that we have. I could also use a Garda, but uh, in this case, we're just going to take that, take a bite. Right. And now we'll slip our knot onto the ratchet. Okay. And then, since we always put this knot here, remember? Hey, hey. Not so stupid now, huh? Then we could just simply push this down, have it bite in, and now we've taken it and we've created a raise. Right? Then we take that, we just lower our bite down. And that is the simplest form of a raise, a three to one raise that we have.